a couple of years ago, uh, I started emailing back and forth with uh, David Thornton, who has been a friend for a long time, um, to start a recording with my brass band music that hasn't been recorded yet. And here we are now in Sheffield, uh, day two. We had a fantastic day yesterday, uh, recording some of the arrangements. And today, we're, we just finished up with Sinfonietta number one. And we're going to end the day with three moments of uh, my Symphony number one, The Lord of the Rings, which I arranged for brass band during COVID. So my Symphony number no. one, The Lord of the Rings, was my very first piece for wind orchestra, or actually my very first composition. The original work on the CD, uh, uh, which was originally written for brass band, is Sinfonietta No. 1. I wrote it in 2011, uh, and it was a test piece for the Dutch 3rd Division, for the nationals in, in our country. My friend Brand Atema uh, plays the solo on Canticles, it's just absolutely fabulous. His wife Astrid was playing harp, which is unusual in a brass band. You will never see a harp, but in Canticles and in the duet of the Pearl Fishers, you really need the harp uh, as the original instrument for the 16th note. And a funny detail, I'm, I'm actually playing the second voice in the duet of the Pearl Fishers. So I'm featured on the CD as a condo uh, conductor, <laughs> composer, arranger, and euphonium player. It has been an absolute delight to work with Ryan Thorpe. The players are fantastic. They're very passionate about what they do. I mean, they play as good as professionals on a professional level. But the way to work with them is so nice, you know, they're friendly and they don't care to do something six or seven times over. They were super, super motivated to just get the best results out of the recording. It was a fantastic experience and it's actually the very first time in my 45 year career that I conducted a British brass band. I've done many brass bands all over the world, in, in Norway, in Switzerland, Japan, um, Australia, but never in England. So <laughs> that was my debut as well and it was a, a very good one. I will never forget it. <laughs>